Hey, my crafty family. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to make some super fun little Easter treat containers out of Tootsie Roll containers. Now, these little guys are a one sock gnome. They're super easy to make. You can beef up the arms like this little guy, or you can tone them down like this little gal. If you want to how to make these little guys and gals, stick around. I'll show you how. Thank y'all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Okay, we're going to start with a Tootsie Roll container, and you want to go ahead and take the plastic cover off the top part. Now, if you can't get a Tootsie Roll container, I get these at Dollar Tree. You can use a can or a jar or anything you want to. Then I'm just going to take two one-inch um, pom-poms, and I'm going to attach it right to the side. These are going to be for the feet, so kind of space them out how you want them. Okay, next you're just going to take a, a stretchy crew sock and you're just going to go right over the top. Now go ahead and put your glue down onto the base because we want to make sure this stays in place. And just go ahead and pull it all the way down and glue that down to the bottom. Just make sure it's glued in good. Okay, then go ahead and turn it over and we're going to go ahead and put two little rubber bands right around where those pom-poms are. And that's going to be for the feet. And then go ahead and pull it all the way to the top till you have the heel at the top. And then we're going to go ahead and cut this off right at the heel, right across the heel area. And then go ahead and trim it even. And then we're going to go ahead and pull it up and glue it to the top part of the Tootsie Roll container. Just go ahead and turn it under because you don't want a raw seam there. And then go ahead and pull it up and glue it. Just make sure that you do get this all glued in well because that's real important. And then do tuck it up underneath before you pull it up. And then fix any areas that you didn't get glued in. You can go ahead and trim the heel off so that it's even across the bottom and then go ahead and take your fingers and kind of evenly gather it up and put a rubber band across the top part and this is on the inside out part so go ahead you needed to go ahead and turn it inside out then go ahead and take a string and then tie it off just to kind of make sure that it is secure So I'm going to take a piece of scrap faux fur and I'm going to mark it at two inches by two inches. And then starting at the side, I'm just going to go around in a U shape and cut it out. You can use any kind of scrap faux fur you have. I just had this beard already cut out. And then go ahead and clean the excess fur off. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and attach the beard. Just come up right up underneath the ledge of that Tootsie Roll container. Put some glue on the back top edge and then just go ahead and glue that in. Next, I'm going to take half of a 60 millimeter fillable ornament and I'm going to cut the tab off. Now, you can use a half of a styrofoam ball if you'd rather. And then we're going to go ahead and turn our hat inside out and we're going to glue right at the very top edge of it. And then we're going to glue that right to the center of our ornament. And I'll give you the link for these where I get these. And then go ahead and pull your hat all the way down. Next, we're going to make the ears. I've given you the pattern in the description below. Now, my pattern is only going to have one ear on it when you print this because we are not going to put an insert on it. And then you are going to cut four of these ears out. I'm just cutting these out of white fleece. And next, we're going to go ahead and glue around the edges. Go all the way up to the peak and down the other side, but leave the bottom open because we are going to turn these inside out or right side out. Just kind of make sure that you get your glue close to the edge as you can. And then do the same thing with the other ear. Okay, once those have dried, we're going to turn them right side out. And I'm just going to use a pair of pliers to turn these out right side out. It works real easy. Just grab the peak, pull it through, and the same thing with the other one. And then I'm going to take a little bone folder for, I use for paper crafting just to kind of shape them out. Okay, next I'm going to take a pipe cleaner. I'm going to fold it in half, and I'm going to kind of shape it into the shape of the ear before I put it into the ear. And then just go all the way up to the point. On both of them and then we are going to glue both sides of the pipe cleaner on each side so you want to have a separation in the middle 
but just make sure that you do shape them out a little bit. And then spread the two pipe cleaners apart and glue both sides and down the center. And do that to both of them. Okay, next I'm taking a piece of fleece that measures nine and three quarter by two inch, and you want the nine and three quarter side to be the stretchy side. Go ahead and glue down the nine and three quarter side, fold it over, and we are going to meet in the middle on these two sides. You we're just going to line those up edge to edge. Do not overlap them. So we're just going to attach this right to the hat and we're going to wear the seam where we have that seam meet in the middle. That is going to be the edge of where it attaches to the hat. So go ahead and hang it over that edge of that hat that much. We're going to start right where the ears started. Go ahead and find your center point. And then we're going to leave the front part where the ears were open. And so go ahead and glow around the edge all the way to the back on both sides. And then we're going to glue the two edges of this um, fleece together in the back. Just leave the front open for right now because we are going to attach those ears. And then we'll glue the rest of it in. And then just trim it off so that they do meet right in the center. Now don't glue to your um, body yet because we don't want, we want to make sure that this hat does come off. Okay, then go ahead and pull the ledge down there. We're going to go ahead and glue our rabbit ears to the hat. And then we're going to glue the hat band to the ears. Now I would recommend taking this hat off once you get all this glued together just to make sure that you did not glue any of this to the body because you want to make sure that they're able to take this hat off to get to their treats. And then go ahead and glue around the top edge just to make sure it is completely flush with that hat. But do take your hat off after this point. Okay, next I'm going to attach the nose. I'm just taking a 5 8 inch um, felt ball. I get these on Etsy. I'll give you the link for these. And I'm just going to attach it right to the beard. Now don't glue it to the hat. You want to just glue it to the beard so they can still take the hat off. And you could use just a wooden bead if you want to. And then just put this hat on down over the top of it. The tail, I'm just going to take three cotton balls and I'm just going to glue them all together. Now, if you have a big cotton ball, you can just use one. I didn't have any, so I'm just going to use three, glue them together, and then I'm just going to attach them right to the back of his body. Just kind of fluff them up a little bit. Next, I decided to add him some arms. I'm just taking three cotton balls, gluing them straight down together. And then I'm going to glue the fourth one at an angle facing forward. And I'm going to do the same thing for the opposite side with it facing the opposite way. Now, if you don't want his arms to be as beefed up as mine, you can just put two cotton balls and then one down at the bottom. Or you could even leave the arms off if you don't want to put on arms. And then just glue that right to the side of his body. Okay, then for my girl bunny, I only use two for the arm and then one for the hand facing forward and the same thing on the opposite side facing the opposite way. Hey, I think those turned out super cute. I think they'll be a big hit at Easter. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you like these kind of videos, be sure and give me a like, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified when I have a new video upload. Thank y'all so much for being here. I really appreciate it.